Hello, everyone. It's time for Vanish Collins Stories, the podcast. I'm your host, Pete Castanis. This is episode 299, season 12. Today's date is January 27, 2024, and welcome to the program. On today's program, I will talk about the Chicken Delight restaurants in Chicago. That's uh, quite an interesting topic. And then I'll do a wrap up of my past posts on my Vanish Chicago Land Facebook page. So we're getting close. uh, So folks, we're getting close to 300. And I'll explain about that in a moment about that. But first, uh, the program will go into a commercial break. And this program is brought to you by Tropical Blend from Coppertone. And here's a commercial from 1978. I remember this commercial very well. So sit back and relax. And I'll be right back with the show, folks. Thank you. Deep and wild is the savage tan. Get it there with tropical blend. The dark and sleek is the savage tan. Get it fast with tropical blend. Tropical blend by Coppertone. Smells like fresh coconuts. Lets you tan fast. Moisturizes your skin to help keep you soft and beautiful. Tropical blend, the savage tan. Okay, everyone, I am back. I hope you enjoyed the commercial for Tropical Blend uh, Tanning Oil from Copper Tone. (laughs) Uh, You know, uh, staying out of the sun is great. It's very healthful, but uh, sometimes it's also your worst enemy. You got to be very careful with the rays. You know, you got to put sunscreen because you get uh, either skin cancer or your wrinkled fats. I've seen people like that. That I know. They love the sun, but uh, they look terrible. <laughs> like leather. Their skin. Ugh. It's icky. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's why people come up to me and say, well, Pete, you look so young. <laughs> what do you do? How do you do it? And I say, well, I... I uh, I do my best, you know, to keep healthy, but I, I, I don't stay out in the sun much. I do, but uh, it's not uh, very healthy like that. So uh, I have got burned uh, twice in Puerto Rico when I was working at America's Best Travel, you know, and that was uh, not a fun time. <laughs> my legs were like lobster. You know, I look like a lobster, so that's uh, that's bad. So uh, yeah, if you stay out of this, if you stay in the sun, stay out in the sun for quite a while, maybe about you know, but not too long. You know that's fine. You know, it's great vitamin D. But uh, like I'm talking about all day, no, don't overdo it. It's not good. Okay. And this commercial, uh, I remember this very well. I used to watch it all the time on uh, prime time. On television, you know, during when I was a kid, this was in high school. I think I remember mostly on uh, on ABC on WLS TV Channel Seven in Chicago. You know, with the great shows I watch, you know, like uh, Charlie's Angels, uh, Starsky and Hutch, uh, Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, uh, all those great shows. Three's Company, all those great shows, like that. Yeah, fun times. That was fun. All right. At the beginning of the program, I mentioned I'm going to talk about the Chicken Delight restaurants in Chicago, and I'll do a wrap-up of my past posts in Van Chicago and Facebook page. Before I get started, I'll mention a couple of things. One, uh, yesterday I posted something that was so funny. Uh, someone uh, in my group, somebody wanted to get out of my group. <laughs> it just... Because she, because uh, he or she found it boring, tedious, and not fun. And I said, "All right, I want to get out." Well, there's an option you can do that. You can leave the group, you know, if you like. Uh, but uh, maybe this person didn't see it or didn't understand. So I, I, I did the courtesy of doing that for him or her, you know, like that. And then I was funny, so I blocked this person, you know, just in case. And then. Then I showed everyone else and they thought it was funny like that. But, you know, I couldn't help it. It's hilarious. It really is. It's not boring. 
it's not it, the grip is not boring. I I don't understand what this person is talking about. So I don't know what this person wanted out of uh, Chicago history. It's the way it is. Second, um, I'm going to talk. Uh, second, uh, episode 300 is coming up very very soon, and I decided to talk about this subject. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's about this performer that was born in Chicago and died uh, prematurely uh, many years ago. I won't mention it here. I will post the, I will reveal it later on today, who I'm going to talk about. And that should be very interesting. And I'll probably do the podcast tomorrow. If not, I will do it Tuesday. So, but I'll let everyone know. I'll let you and everyone know what uh, it's going to be. Uh, some people will be, you know, very interested. You know, it'll be a lot of fun. All right, let's get started. I'm going to talk about uh, Chicken Delight. And uh, this was a chain of restaurants. Uh, you know, I used to hear this when I was a kid. Uh, I didn't know, you know, I didn't know it existed in Chicago. I thought it existed elsewhere. Uh, that from my understanding, but no, it was not. Uh, it started uh, It started in, in Illinois. Yeah. started in Illinois in 1952, and then it grew over to a thousand locations over the, during the 1960s. Then it was purchased by Consolidated Foods in 1964. Which is like part of right now. It's part of uh, Sarah Lee, like that. But I don't know. Sarah Lee was under that. So uh, it was famous for their takeoff food. Uh, it was just like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken was still yeah. It was it was there. You know, uh, coincidentally, coincidentally, they were st they were founded in the same around the same time. I don't know when KFC came to Chicago. But maybe later. You know, in the fifties. Uh, so their famous uh, slogan is "Don't cook tonight, call chicken delight." <laughs> so it's like uh, they do. They also did delivery and takeout service. So you can call, you can go pick up your chicken, or you, you can have somebody deliver to you. the The funny thing about this, which I didn't know, uh, I've been posting a few pictures of that and uh, the, the the delivery cars uh, yeah they were cars and they had a chicken on the top of a car and then sometimes the delivery men had chickens on their heads <laughs> I think <laughs> I think they did like that that reminds me of good times with uh, Jimmy Walker uh, worked at a chicken place <laughs> if you remember that <laughs> so anyway um I found the menu and the uh, locations of this uh, wonderful establishment. So uh, let's take a look at the menu really quickly. Okay, and let's see what they had at the time. Uh, so they had a bucket of chicken, bucket, of, they call it bucket old chicken with an apostrophe, you know, and uh, this, this menu is from uh, a long time ago. So uh, they had uh, chicken delight. They had sh um, other other foods besides chicken. They also had shrimp. They also had fish. They also had uh, just a uh, rib delight. They oh, also ribs, you know. And uh, it was also shrimp delight, fish delight. You get the idea, like that. And uh, also had the uh, steaks. They had that Italian beef. Uh, side orders: coleslaw, French fries. You know, like that, which is pretty good. Um, and I found this, uh, a, this is from a menu. Uh, let's see. This is from a menu from a location that used to be at uh, 6424 West Belmont Avenue. That's about Belmont and Narragansett, around there on the northwest side of Chicago. And uh, so 
the look the other locations they had uh i'm i think some have moved you know and some have uh also this is the best i could find most were in the chicago um in the city of chicago and also in the suburbs like for example on the north side it was uh uh they were uh, like on the north side, for example, it was on Lincoln Avenue, it was on North Sheridan Road, Rogers Park, uh, one in Glenview, Waukegan, Skokie, Evanston. Uh, on the northwest side of Chicago, it was also, it was at uh, on North Milwaukee Road, and uh, one in Des Plaines, Franklin Park. Oh, another Chicago location on West Tui and Hardwood Heights was one there uh west was uh let's see was it one in chicago mm, yes the one i just mentioned on west belmont avenue but it was also one in lagrange berwin elmhurst maywood oak park and lombard uh south side was at uh let's see they had oh they had a lot of chicago locations uh they, there was on uh South Ashland Avenue, uh, one in South Kedzie, uh, one in South Halstead, uh, one in Halstead and the Bridge Road area. Uh, also at uh, the Woodland area, 63rd Street, around Woodland Avenue, uh, 47th Street in Chicago. Okay, and uh, there was one in Oak Lawn, uh, Richardson Park, uh, Dalton, and Joliet. Did I leave one out? No. I did not. And also there was a three in Indiana in Hobart, Hobart, that's what they call it, Gary and Hammond. There was, there's one that's not in lo, listed because I have a photo of this. This was in my old neighborhood in South Shore on uh, South Exchange Avenue at 75th Street. When I grew up at 75th Street uh, between in the 60s, between like 1965 to 1969, uh, I didn't see the chicken delight. That was uh, all I remember that there was a Kentucky Fried Chicken. A friend of my mom's daughter worked there, and she worked at KFC. You know, I remember seeing the bucket. You know, and uh, so before that, it was uh, it was chicken delight. So that must have been in like in the early late fifties, early sixties. That chicken delight was there. So that was a, that was a cool photo of that okay all uh, right now i'm gonna play uh a commercial a radio commercial of chicken delight from 1963. it's kind of a snappy tune <laughs> when i heard it, it's kind of funny so it's like don't don't cook tonight call chicken delight <laughs> that's in there so sit back and relax and listen to the radio commercial for Chicken Delight from 1963, and I'll be right back with the rest of the show, folks. Thank you. Don't cook tonight. Call Chicken Delight. Don't cook tonight. Call Chicken Delight. They will fill your appetite for dinner complete. Boy, what a treat. Delivered hot right to your door. Now I ask you, what are you cooking for? Why, wash those dishes. Don't scrub that pan. Grab the phone and call the man. Ooh, what flavor in every bite. Don't cook tonight. Call Chicken Delight. Call Chicken Delight. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed the commercial for Chicken Delight. <laughs> See, I told you this, the jingle was in there. Don't cook, the, don't cook, and I get Chicken Delight. I think that's what I, uh, that's how it went. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that's how it went. Oh boy, I keep forgetting. No, it's don't cook tonight. Call Chicken Delight. Excuse me <laughs> for that. I forgot. Anyway. Uh, you know, there were other uh, chicken franchises that were good. Uh, for example, uh, besides a KFC, uh, there was a Brown's Chicken. Uh, you don't see that many around, uh, which I, I like that. Uh, people love the fried mushrooms. That's what I've been told. Also, uh, Red Barn had it. Uh, see, so you have Popeye's, still around. 
It's pretty good. Uh, for KFC, I like Crexter Crispy. Yeah, regular. I can take it or leave it. Crexter Crispy, I love. Yeah, but um, Browns and Popeyes, I like better than those. And of course, we all remember Chicken Unlimited, which was oh, awesome. We all miss that place. You know, I did a podcast episode about that place uh, a long time ago. Yeah, maybe I'll talk about it again. We'll see. And uh, other restaurants served it, you know, and uh, each one is different or, you know, the same. Uh, for me, I love it, you know, but it's not good for you because, you know, it's cholesterol and see, you know. But if you eat it once in a while... It won't hurt you. I don't think so. Of course, now we have air fryers, you know, that does that. I, I don't own an air fryer. Someday I might buy one. And uh, according to some people that I know use it, they say that it comes out great. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's healthier from what I understood. <laughs> I don't know how it tastes. So, so I have to be judge. I have to be the judge of that to see what they uh what they taste like okay so well, i can use some chicken now <laughs> all right so right now i'm going to do a wrap up of past posts on my facebook page on the chicago land uh we got a long list so I'll, I'll make it real quickly and then i'll wrap up the show all right um this one's from december 7th i know we go way back uh, we'll go back to Christmas. I found a box from the Benson Rickson clothing store in Chicago. And if you remember that uh, store that was on State Street with the funny shaped building, uh, I remember they, they, uh, there was a McDonald's there next door. To, I remember that. Uh, that I don't know. That building's still vacant as far as I remember. I used to see that. But uh, they had good clothes. There was one location in Roseland. I remember seeing that when I lived there. And uh, they look, look kind of cool. Look very nice. Okay. And uh, let's see. I found a Christmas book chat. That's from a catalog. It's a catalog from Crocs and Bertano's bookstore in Chicago. Yeah, you missed that bookstore. Everybody misses that bookstore. It's one of their favorite locations in Chicago. And I wish it would come back. Yeah, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. So we have just the memories. Of that place okay um also i found some uh christmas ornaments from sears you know department stores they had some beautiful ornaments you know also i found a ad for uh gaf viewmaster you know the viewmasters they they come in tubs like that from kmart and uh you know a lot of people so most people owned the uh, Viewmaster at one time or another. I did. You know, I owned a couple when I was a child. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, let's see what we got. I posted a couple of photos of me when I was at Christmas time when I was a little child. And you can find that on my page. So that was kind of neat. And uh, let's see what else we got. I found an ad from 1956, a Christmas ad for Robert Hall clothes. Oh, everyone has memories of going to this store. Whether it's Christmas or Easter, prefer, preferably Easter, to buy a new suit, a new dress, new shoes, you know, that was a tradition. Very good store, very uh, good quality um, items, you know, like that. Okay, and uh, what, I forgot one thing. I posted a box that my mother had. It's She has, excuse me, uh, she keeps her Christmas cards. It's from Marsha Fields Department Store. And I forgot I forgot she had this, and I took a picture of that. Uh, but it's falling apart. <laughs> you know, it's not easy, but I wouldn't dare throw it away. Oh, no. I, I think she thought about doing that. I said, no, keep it. I mean, we'll just tape it up or something like that. So it's a beautiful box. Like that. Also, uh, I, my Van Chicago Lang Facebook group reached 200,000 members uh, around December 14th. Still growing. 
still adding people. Uh, it's uh, it's amazing. You know, uh, I do my best to add the people. You know, sometimes there are people they are not people. You know, they're fake bots and fake profiles. So I'm trying to keep this clean, you know, and do the best I can to make this uh, group very enjoyable. Okay. And uh, I also found uh, some photos from eBay. They were from a Christmas raid on State Street in Chicago in the late 1980s. And that was kind of cool. They showed the pictures of Woolworths, Charles A. Stevens, like that. And uh, that was nice. You know, that's, uh, that's beautiful. Of course, I found a Christmas uh a Christmas box of cookies from Maurice Lindell cookies. And uh, it wouldn't be Christmas without them. And, you know, with the little boy sticking his head out of the cookie jar. I like that. And so do a lot of people. All right. And let's see what else we got. Uh, okay. And let's see here. Also, I put the Jingle Cookies from Salerno. Oh. Uh, they're, they're around, but they're not the same. Uh, they, they're not called that, but it's the original ones, you know, and uh, they taste great. Uh, for, according to most people, they don't taste the same. I can understand that, but uh, these were delicious. They really are very decorative, you know, very tasty. So that's good. All right, and let's see what else. Also put a picture of the Fair Department Store. A lot of people have forgotten about this department store. It was located on 128 South State Street. Uh, that closed in about 1964 where Montgomery, Montgomery Ward bought them. And that took its place. But uh, it was uh, that department store was there in the late 19th century. It was there for a long, long time ago. So that's good. And then, of course, uh, I found an ad for Dressel's uh, cakes, you know, whipped cream cakes, you know. That, but this is, a, like, from 60 years ago. And it's a beautiful beautiful ad, you know, and uh, people still miss this. The cakes, you know, the chocolate fudge cakes. You can still find them in Wolf's Bakery on, in Evergreen Park, Illinois, on the south side. Uh, according to most people, this, they taste the same. Some say no, but uh, it's better than nothing. <laughs> okay, and I found a 1969 Christmas gift guide from Weebles Department Store in Chicago. It's kind of pretty. Very nice. Also, I found a Christmas banner from SNH Green Stamps. You know, it had a, a Santa Claus. You know, you can find all these on my page if you scroll down. <clears throat> so, um, you know, green stamps were very common in those days, like that. And let's see what else. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, I found an ad for Bernie Brothers. Uh, they had a, it was a Christmas egg. They had the creamery, creamery ring cake and almond pockets. Their cakes and cookies were delicious. Uh, and you then they went to Jewel. You know, they had their own section. Remember the pink section like that? And uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, I also, of course, I posted a photo of John's frozen cheese pizza. Everyone had this when they were a kid. Everybody, you know, and it was a good, it was good. Some people didn't like it. Tastes like cardboard. But you know what? I loved it. I really did. It was good pizza. <coughs> so it's great when, you know, we uh, some people have memories of uh, eating this pizza, watching Creature Features, and getting a big uh, bottle of RC Cola. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did that once. I really did. Also, I found a photo. Uh, I found this in the newspaper. It's a picture of these row of trucks from Poke Brothers. And they're delivery trucks. And uh, I thought it was kind of cool. Like that. Uh, I still miss this store. 
and so does everyone else. You know, so that's nice. Very nice indeed. And let's see what else. Uh, also, I posted a photo of 5050. Do you remember that from Canfields? Do you remember the drink? You know, it was uh, grapefruit and lime. Some people used to make punch with it. And it was it was good. Uh, very good. My mom used to make this, you know, with the punch. And the orange sherbet. So like that. 5050 uh, is still around for some, in some way. Yeah, it is. You know, I don't know if it tastes the same. I don't think it's Canfields because they went out of business. So uh, I don't know. I haven't bought it in years. What it, how it tastes like. So no clue. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got some more. I found another ad for Bernie Brothers, but this time it's Louisiana Crunch Cake. Oh, I love this cake. And so do a lot of people. It's delicious. It was delicious. I think you can still find it. I think you, I believe you can. But uh, back then, I had, I've had it when I was a kid. It's it's good. Mm. Very good indeed. Also, I found a brochure cover from the Harris Bank from 1975. And uh, we all, it's you know, it has Hubert the uh, Hubert, the uh, Harris Bank um, lion. Uh, right now it's BMO. I think they got rid of the Harris Bank, uh, which is uh, I was devastated by that. Oh, that stunk. <laughs> that stinks, you know. <laughs> About that, yeah. And, uh, it was part of our lives. For that. Also, I posted a picture of a Super Plus Warehouse grocery store. Do you remember that? That was in the 80s. It was like a, a discount a grocery store. Uh, there was one near my house, I think like 83rd and Cicero. Uh, I think my mom went there once or twice there. Uh, when I showed her the picture, she goes, oh, that, she goes, that looks familiar. I think I've been there. You have. <laughs> it's just, you know, you have been there. But it, it was only in the, uh, the Chicago area for a brief time, not, not long, you know. I think it was a part of A and P, sort of. I don't know the whole story of that. Okay, and also I found a picture of Jewel Food Store, Jewel Store Ron, but this was taken in 1975. Remember how Jewel used to look like in the 70s, and I thought it was kind of cool. They used to be they had uh, turnstile stores adjacent to that, and uh, so this this picture had the 1970 cars in them. So just like when I was a kid, looking at those. So, like I said, it was a nice uh, photo. It really is. Okay. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, I'll be right with you, folks. You know, uh, it's amazing. You know, I collected all these uh, photos over time like that. Okay, and let's see. All right, uh, be right with you. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I found a photo of a forgotten CTA bus route. This was the 19, oh no, 148 Monroe parking. This is going to the Monroe, Monroe parking parking lot. And uh, I guess it's still there. I don't know. Uh, I've never ridden it. But I remember when I was a kid, I used to see the bus and the, uh, and the, stop si and the bus stop sign. I remember that. So it was like uh, you would park your car and you board on this bus. You know, sounds like O'Hare Airport <laughs> to me. <laughs> you know, like that. And uh, that route was discontinued in 1973. And the photo was taken in about 10 years earlier. Like that. So that was kind of cool. Okay, and let's see what else we got. Uh, I found an ad that featured uh, Doug Buffon and Dick Buckus. Uh, for an ad for Fensel Tufo's Chevrolet. You know, a master of a deal. They were located in uh, Glendale Heights. Uh, someone's email says, why don't you do a 
podcast episode about this dealership. And I will someday. Because they remember the commercials, they remember the you know, the car dealership, they remember where they bought us cars there. I'll give it some thought. Okay. Also, I've posted a photo of a Saxon paint store that was located at 1211 Chicago Avenue in Evanston, Illinois. And right next door was a true value store. And uh, that was good. That was neat seeing that. Yeah, you know, nice picture of that. Also, uh, I posted a f- photo of the interior of the Comeback Inn pub in Melrose Park. Oh, and that was located at 1913 West Lake Street. People still miss this restaurant so bad, you know, with our Kodiak burgers and uh, peanut shells on the floor. Uh, the moose head, his head was in one room and his butt was in the other. <laughs> well, you get the idea. <laughs> that was funny. I'd never been there. I wish I did. I, I wish I did. Also, I uh, posted uh, two products from Ronco, uh, the Record Vacuum and Mr. Microphone. We used to see those commercials all the time in the 70s. I did that when I was a kid, especially Christmas time. So that was uh, that was fun. Remember the egg scrambler, too, like that. Also, I posted another photo of uh, – this was a uh, – Officer Leonard Baldy of the Chicago Police Department. He was the first traffic reporter for WGN Radio. And uh, not like now, we got uh, a lot of them flying around in the helicopter. Uh, He tragically died in a helicopter crash in May 2nd, 1960. So um, I sort of remember reading about that when I was a kid. So uh, that's a shame. That, That was terrible. What happened? Okay. All right. Let's see what we else we have. Um, also, I found a picture of the Bob's roller coasters, roller coaster that is in Riverview Park. Uh, one of my favorite uh, photos, one of my, and everyone's favorite. Uh, but this was during the winter season, you know, when it was closed. You know, and there's snow on the ground. It's deserted. I thought it was kind of nice, you know, so quiet when you look at it. It's like eerie. There's nobody there, you know, like that. Okay. And also I found a picture of two milk bottles from Wanzer's Dairy Company in Chicago. And uh, they were brown. They were brown bottles. And it's like Wanzer on milk is like sterling on silver. Remember that uh, slogan? Yeah. My mom used to buy this milk. It was good. I remember that. Also, I posted a photo for Walden Books Bookstore. This one's at the Harley Mervyn Plaza a Shopping Mall in Norwich, Illinois. I missed that bookstore. It was a good store. I used to go to one in Chicago Ridge. Also, I found a photo of a soda pop display. You can call it pop. You can call it soda. Whatever. It was at a supermarket in 1984, and they displayed, like, Tab, Like, uh, Pepsi Free, right? you know, but uh, Tab is gone. That they discontinued last uh, in 2020. Like was just in the 80s. I remember drinking that. Uh, you know, they had sugar-free. They had no caffeine, you know, and it was, uh, it was a beautiful photo of that. Um, let's see what else. Also, a picture of the South Suburban Safeway Lines bus. Uh, that was the that was the uh, bus line that served on the south side. You know, I used to t- my my father used to take this bus to go to work at the Conrad Hilton Hotel on Michigan Avenue. He used to drive. He used to go on Michigan Avenue. We lived on Roseland, and he used to drop him off. And we took that bus when we went downtown. And it's fun. Either it went on the Dan Ryan or it went on South King Drive. And it did that. But, you know, on South King Drive, it was like an express bus. It didn't stop every stop like that. So it didn't matter. So it was, uh, it, it was quick. 
Also, I posted a picture of uh, Bob Bell, also known as Bozo the Clown. It was his birthday. Uh, he died December 8th, 1997. So we still miss him. One of my favorite performers. Um, let's see what else. Also, I found a... What else did I find? I think that's it. Oh, yes, I found a photo of a, uh, it was a bus stop sign. It's on the corner of West Belmont Avenue and North Lake Shore Drive. I think that's when the street turns into North Sheridan. That's according to some people. But this was taken in 1973, and I thought it was real nice, you know, with the high rises and all that. So, um, some see it's not at the corner. Well, it's sort of in the corner in a way. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, the other day was Pie, uh, National Pie Day. That was about three days ago. I found a menu for uh, Poppin' Fresh Pies. Now it's Baker Square. There's about, <coughs> excuse me, four locations in Chicago. Uh, three in Chicago, one in Indiana. So I still miss this pie. Uh, I went to the one in Woodridge last year. I was in the neighborhood. Ordered some lunch, had the French silk pie. Still tastes the same. That was good. Oh, I loved it. I miss it. Ah, I wish they reopened them at more locations, but we'll see. Okay, and let's see what else. Also, uh, I posted a photo of Ray Rayner, the entertainer from Ray Rayner Show, in front of Cuddly Dudley's house. I miss him so much. I mean, we all do. So, um, that's kind of cool, like that. Okay, and also, uh, yesterday was the 57th anniversary of the Chicago blizzard that happened in 1967. <coughs> Excuse me, I got something in my throat. And it's a photo of a jack-in-the-box restaurant in Chicago Heights, Illinois. And I did a podcast episode earlier, last year I did one, and, um, it's kind of neat. You can see the snow piled up on the bottom like that. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for that. <laughs> Sorry it took so long. So uh, I had a lot to catch up, and I hope you enjoy it. So if you want to see these pictures, go on my Facebook page and help yourself. <coughs> so that's it for this episode. Uh, there were, uh Recap of what I talk about. I talk about the Chicken Delight restaurants in Chicago. Also do a wrap-up of past posts on my Van in Chicago Land Facebook page. This Facebook, uh, this podcast will be broadcast. Uh, I mean, it'll be available wherever uh, podcasts are. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, Spotify, Amazon Music. Also Breaker Overcast. Also on my blog, vanishchicagoland.blog. And then um, also on my YouTube channel. People have asked me before. A couple of people have asked me yesterday. <coughs> Where do I find your podcast? Just go to my YouTube channel. Type in uh, Van Chicago Land Stories. You will find it. Subscribe. Also on my apps. Just hit follow, and you'll get notifications of the latest episodes of uh, of my podcast. Also, be posted on my social media accounts: Facebook, X, LinkedIn, Reddit, Instagram. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, Instagram, uh, TikTok. Yeah, I'm on TikTok. <laughs> also, I signed up for Blue Sky. It's a, it's a new uh, social media network. It hasn't caught on much, but I'm, I was invited. You, you, if you sign up, you have to be invited. And I was invited, got a code, I'm in. Once I get a code, I can invite people if I want. But I haven't generated much, you know, action of that. Okay, so this is Pico Stash, your host of Van Chicago and Stories, the podcast. Thank you for joining me. Uh, it's kind of a chilly gray day, you know, for a Saturday. 
I will reveal what's going to be on episode 300 later on today. And it's going to be interesting. I will probably do that episode tomorrow. And if, and if I can, I will. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm so, I can't believe I reached, I'm reached. i going to reach that milestone. I am so happy. And I'm so happy that you will join me of listening. Because this will be very special to me. Okay. So here's Ray Rayner with, uh, no, so here's me saying bye-bye. And here's Ray Rayner with a little traveling music saying bye-bye-bye. Take care, everyone, and so long. We have to go. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs>